Mention Gary Player's name, instant recognition inside and outside of golf. In the golf terms, this is one of the Mount Rushmore figures, multiple majors, the Black Knight. I mean, this, this is an absolute A-list player. The only man in the world, in the world, eight billion people, whatever it is, to have won the Grand Slam on the regular tour and the Grand Slam on the senior tour. And they all tried. I think Gary Player, the golfer, was extremely charismatic and he was a character that became well known and, and well regarded right away. I mean, he represents a lot of firsts. He was from South Africa and was the first guy from there to win a lot of majors. He became known as the man in black for his style on the course. He only wore black. From the beginning, he had a brand of being someone who was classy and respected the game and also respected himself. I wanted to try and be the best in the world. I, I, I didn't worry about money because I didn't make any money. My parents were very poor. You know, we couldn't envisage that they're going to be playing for a million dollars a week first prize as they do now. It was incomprehensible. So, but I thought, well, the money that I am making, I've got to invest wisely. My dad obviously has been one of the great golfers of, of all time. And I knew that at some point in time, he wouldn't be able to win anymore. So how do you build a business around an individual that's performing? It's really interesting how Mark Player, who is one of Gary's sons, has become his agent. He started doing it when he was only 20 years old. And Mark is really the man behind the man. My son, of all the managers I've seen in sport, he's the best marketer I've ever seen. He really has brilliant ideas on how to make money and how to market. We've been working together now for, this is our 30th year. And I think we can count the amount of arguments we've had on one hand. I think when Gary retired and he soon got into golf course design, that wasn't yet the kind of ubiquitous thing it, it is today where everyone has golf courses that they lend their name to. I mean, his contemporaries, you know, they're called the big three, Jack Nicklaus, Arnold Palmer, and Gary Player. And Jack and Arnold were also designing golf courses, but Gary differentiated himself by placing an emphasis on being eco-friendly in the design. If 400 odd golf courses in our portfolio, and we've done that over a 30 year period, depending on where it is and how much time we're going to put in to be charged between three and five million dollars. So there's a billion dollars in golf course design. So it's a, it's a serious business for a small company like ours. There are a number of different businesses. There's designing the golf courses, which is called Gary Player Design. Then there's player real estate, where they're building properties on top of these golf courses. Then of course you have Black Knight, just the apparel and merchandise arm. Then you have Gary Player Invitational Tournaments where they get celebrities and semi-pros to come play. And the money from those tournaments goes toward the Gary Player Charity, which raises money for education and poor youths across the world. I don't profess to have a great business acumen, but what I can do is, having traveled more miles than any human being that's ever lived, I'm able to contribute common sense to the board. To build your brand uh, is very simple. It takes work. His big thing is that he's probably golf's biggest friend. I mean, he goes around the world traveling, he's flying more than any other retired golfer, and he just kind of spreads the good word about the sport of golf. It was not very difficult to go from competing to the boardroom, uh, but I still compete. I mean, I'm uh, 79 now, and I can still average 70, so I can still compete in golf tournaments, and I play some, and I'm competing with business companies that I represent. After their playing days are over, Jack Nicklaus, Gary Player, Arnold Palmer, they now have this rivalry that it's extended to business. They're still dueling it out on the, on the back back night. Did I ever think I'd compete with Arnold and Jack after our careers of traveling around the world and uh, being very fierce competitors, great friends and respect for each other, but extremely fierce? Yes, I did, because I knew they weren't just gonna sit down on their bottoms. People should never think ever of the word retire. You should work until the day you die. The day you retire is the day you die. My energy levels are almost five times that of people. And as far as my age is concerned, 20 times more. Because I work harder today at nearly 80 than I did in my 20s. Gary Player was always this, this terrifically charismatic guy and he has used this charisma and this larger than life persona and this extroverted personality as a core of, of his new business. So he'll take clients out and part of it is yes, you get to go to the masters. Part of it is you get to be in Gary Player's aura and, and that combination has made for a successful business. You wake up, you have a choice, two choices. Happy or sad? 40% of people choose sad. I choose happy.